Hello and welcome to the Kufi Weekly. I'm your host, Kasim Hafiz. Hello and thank you for joining us on another episode of the Kufi Weekly. So this week's episode is going to be a little scary, to be honest, because we're going to discuss some of the real dangers that come from the threats facing the United States today. I know that the Kufi Weekly probably isn't your number one stop for lighthearted entertainment, but this episode, we're going to dig down and really look at the reality of some of the threats that face the United States in practical terms. Now, here at Kufi, we use the slogan pretty frequently, uh, defend America, stand with Israel. And we've kind of laid that out over the last few months with the dangers that Israel faces, Hezbollah, Hamas, and of course, Iran and how those groups also are hostile to the United States. And they see Israel as one part of the puzzle in destroying Israel and then destroying America. And of course, most prominent in all those is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Iran are trying to acquire a nuclear weapon. That is, I believe, an undisputable fact. We had the Iran deal, wasn't a great deal. The United States left that deal, and we're currently in negotiations to get back into some sort of deal with Iran now. At Kufi, we're not opposed to a deal. We're opposed to a bad deal, and the original Iran nuclear deal was a bad deal. It rewarded Iran while they continued in secret to develop their nuclear weapons. Now, how does this relate to what I said about defending America, standing with Israel? Israel is in direct and imminent threat from Iran. Iran's leaders constantly say that Israel must be destroyed, Israel must be wiped from the earth, and they're in the process of creating weapons of mass destruction, something that can literally wipe a population off the face of the earth. Israel stands in between the United States and Iran. Israel still seems committed to preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. Yes, the world powers seem to say that, but their actions say otherwise. I don't know if you've been living in a bubble, but Iran's chants don't end with death to Israel. They go death to America, then death to Israel. Every intelligence coup Israel's intelligence agency has been able to pull off to find out more information about what Iran is doing is keeping Americans safe. Because the reality of a nuclear weapon hitting the United States, hitting New York, is closer than I believe any time in history. So the initial explosion, be it via a, a nuclear missile or, you know, as they say, a dirty bomb with nuclear material in a truck or, or a car, there would be a flash brighter than the sun. It would create a massive fireball and would blast a crater 50 feet deep and cremate anything in that radius. So that if it was in New York City, the initial explosion would cause destruction and basically incinerate anyone in a five block radius. Following that, there would be a shock wave with winds of up to 500 miles per hour would decimate anything in their path. We're talking buildings, cars, lampposts. They would all basically become airborne projectiles. These are the realities of a nuclear weapon on American soil. And we are dealing with a regime who are very committed to getting a nuclear weapon, who are very committed to destroying our ally in the Middle East, Israel, and are very intent on then destroying America. So when we stand with Israel, we stand with a democratic nation. We stand with a country which values freedom. This is a reality, and this is why we must speak out, defend Israel, to make sure America is safe. This is Kasim Hafiz for the Kufi Weekly. For Zion's sake, do not remain silent. Thanks for checking out today's episode of Kufi Weekly. If you enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the latest news from the Middle East, along with topics involving US-Israel relations, please be sure to like and subscribe. And remember to click that notification button so that you are notified every time a new show is uploaded.